Now we're now we're good. Okay, uh, third time's a charm. Um, a, a lot of players uh, lately, or several big name players, have chosen to opt out of this season because of all the the coronavirus concerns. Why have you chosen to play, and was opting out at all something that you considered? Uh, what's your name? Matt. Matt. Why opt out? I mean, I came back for a reason. That reason will um, not be average. I wanted to be great. I came back. I told uh, Coach Novell the reason I came back, and that's the, the reason I came back to win ball games and you know help the team out. And I know we can turn this turn this around. So why opt out? I, I mean, I. I don't, I don't see why a lot of guys opting out because I know one of the reasons why I, I came back and one of the reasons I did come back to win ball games and, and not to be average. So that up and out, that one be on my mind to out. Okay, Brendan. Hey, good morning. How's it going? Good morning. <laughs> so you mentioned you've come back to be great. What does greatness look like to you this season? Like, what are the things that you want to accomplish from a team perspective and individually? What do you want to accomplish to be great? Um, like uh, being consistent. Uh, no drop balls. You know, we had a lot of drop ball last year. Uh, a lot of missed assignments. A lot of a lot of just little, just a little thing. And the one little thing, one thing that coach always teach. Uh, he wanted us to always have the little thing, get the little things right. So. Uh, I feel like just coming back and just doing a little thing is going to be great for me. Uh, no being consistent, no drop balls, uh, you know, being a leader that I could be. Okay, Ira, next question. Uh, how are you able to um, continue your development physically? I know you, uh, in the in the spring, in the winter, in the spring, you were doing a lot to, to uh, you know, change your body a little bit. It seemed like that continued, even though you guys weren't with the strength and conditioning staff. What were you guys? What were you able to do personally, and how did you manage to maintain that uh, during the hiatus? Uh, like I said, like I said, uh, trying to be consistent. Um, I know we couldn't be at the stadium, and we couldn't um, work out with the guy on um, with the coaches or anything. So uh, we had to do it on our own. So we had to get some weights and stuff like that. We had um, brought some weights to the crib, to our crib, and. Um, you know, we got it in every day. You know, we ran, we ran up the hills. Uh, we made sure we stayed healthy. They brought us food. They dropped us food off. They uh, made sure everything was everything right for us. And, uh, you know, I appreciate everybody. Uh, I appreciate them for that because uh, that helped us out a lot. Uh, even though we was on Zoom a lot, and uh, that really helped us out. You know, we grow as a team just by being on Zoom and being away from each other. And I, uh, and I really appreciate that. Okay, next question will be Kurt Weiler, Democrat. Hey, hey Tamorian. I guess how how do you put how weird has this offseason been? And I guess weird being back together. And is it something now where after kind of the time, the extended time apart, where you kind of don't take for granted the grind now as to where you may have before? You said how weird it was, how weird it is. What is that? Yeah, how how kind of how weird was the offseason? And is it something now where you kind of don't take it for granted like you may have before the grind and everything like that? Um, I'd say, um, I mean, it, I just, it's been a tough, it's been a tough one for us. Um, cause I mean, we, uh, we started off like probably like three practices in before all this stuff happening and then we had to separate. So, um, I mean, just by all the pressure that been on us and by, um, by we just meeting new coaches and stuff like that. And we didn't really have got that bond with all the coaches yet, but, uh, I feel like it's been a lot of pressure on throw towards us, but uh, one thing uh, Coach I always say, he's, he, t he tells us this every day, respond. We just got to respond. If we respond, things will come out great. Okay, next question will be Perry. Hey, Perry, how's it going? Hello. Just making sure you can hear me. Uh, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> okay, uh, so basically, you guys haven't really gotten to go walk through the new scheme or anything like that but just watching film and going through stuff with your coaches, what are you excited about? Like, are you going to be doing anything new? They got you in the backfield, like anything that you are like, oh man, I'm excited to ball out and just in that way. Um, um, uh, <laughs> um I can say, um, I know for sure, um, uh, I'm going to be moving around a lot. I'm going to be moving around. I won't be on one side of the, um, one side of the ball. I know I'll be at, a lot of position, you know, doing a lot of things, and I'm gonna be on special teams too. So, uh, 
I feel like that's going to be great for me. Um, just getting out there, being on special team and helping out with special team and moving around on offense, that'll be good. All right, David Visser, you got the next one. Hey, Tamari, how you doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, you mentioned wanting to be more of a leader. How do you do that from afar, virtually, using Zoom, stuff like that? How do you do it when you can't be in the room as much as you want? Uh, just lead by example, you know. Um, do do the little things, like yeah, do the little things. Uh, they always just take the little things. You can by me leading. Uh, I don't really. I, I talk. I talk a lot. I, I started to talk a lot. Um, more. Well, I started to talk more now, but I used to not just. I used to just lead by example. You know, just do things that uh, we, the right thing to do, like the right things to do. Like I, what well, I be um, you know. Stay out, stay out for practice, stay out for practice for like 10, 15 minutes and uh, catch, catch more balls, catch more balls with the QBs and stuff like that. Just, just the little thing coach want us to do it, uh, and all the, all the right things. That, that, that's really it. All right, Corey, Clark. Uh, yeah, Tamari, and I was wondering about your, your weight gain and, and the strength that you have. How do you keep your speed? Because a lot of guys maybe put on, some weight and they're not quite as fast. Your your speed obviously is probably your greatest attribute. Are you still as fast? Are you faster? How do you go about keeping your speed when you're when you're getting bigger? I, uh, I think one thing I I really don't think the speed is going well because God blessed me with that and uh, I don't think uh, that could be taken away from me. So uh, by me being two two twenty two twenty two, uh, I feel like that just that just made me more powerful because when I feel like when I'm running now. I feel um, I feel good. I really do. I feel I feel real good. I feel like I don't got faster. I just I feel like I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be good at doing what I do with this on um, the weight on. All right, Kurt. Hey, tomorrow the the protocols out at practice, the face shields, all the stuff like that. How, how does that kind of change things? Is that something you're kind of already used to, or that might take some time to kind of get used to those changes? Yeah, uh, we definitely got to take some time with that, uh, I can say. Being a receiver, man, we running, doing all that, and it, it just, it's a whole face mask, you know, we ain't got no holes in it. Um, I think it's going to take time for us to get used to that, because um, I know today it was, <laughs> it was, a, it was a lot. I mean, we running around, and I think I had to take the helmet out, like, every play, just to get a little breather. So, I, it definitely going to take, take a little time for us to get used to it. All right, Ira. Hey, Tamarian. Um, I guess, you know, James coming back for his, his fourth year now in the program, what have you seen from him? Uh, is there anything different at all about him coming into the season? And then also, could you talk about the younger quarterbacks and what you've seen from those guys? Um, James, he got a different mindset, you know, a, a lot different mindset. I, I, could, I could tell. Um, I see it in the eyes all the time. He tell me all the time uh, just to stay focused and stuff like that. So. I know his mindset different right now. Uh, I can say that he don't grew. He don't grew a lot. You know, just all the all the things we don't been through, all the last coaches, not knocking no coaches or anything, but all the stuff we don't been through, he don't been through so much. And I feel like he in, he in the right direction right now. And he got the right coaches around here. And, and they gonna get him, they gonna um, turn a lot of things around. And I feel like he gonna he lead he gonna lead us in the right direction. And you know, I know he I know he ready to do that and I feel like he's gonna do that because uh these coaches right now, they be on us a lot, you know. Like, I, ain't, I ain't saying, like, last year coach wasn't on us a lot, but um, they, they really be on us a lot. Uh, you know, every time he make a mistake, they're going to get on to him and stuff like that. So um, I feel like he's improving a lot. And just by the um, the younger the younger quarterbacks, I can see uh, – I see Chubb, you know, he coming along too. He just When he just get here, uh, you know, he got he got some things to work on, but he coming along and – and Tate, um, he coming along too. Um, you boys, just, everybody's just really been working, and uh, everybody been grinding. So I'm looking forward to this fall camp to see how things gonna go out. All right, we've got time for about one more. So Perry, if you want to take the last question, oh, you muted me. I, you thought it was gonna be a bad enough question that you muted me. Uh, so basically, it's gonna be a simple one. Terry, you've been seeing all the social media stuff. I saw you updated your. Uh, profile picture how do you balance like taking that for motivation also like drowning out the noise like where do you walk that line between like you know these people don't know what they're talking about but also I feel like I have a little bit more to prove um I said I, I want a lot of I, I want people to doubt me you know that that pushed me more 
I want to, I want people to say I'm not good enough. I'm not, I, I can't do this. I can't do that. Cause that just pushed me so much. And when I, when I could embrace that and um, go put that on, on, on the field, I know what I'm going to do. And I know what I'm like, I know how I'm going to do it. So I'm just, I'm, I'm so ready to prove, not just prove, but just get better. And I'm just so ready to play. Cause I know, I know we got a lot to prove and, and I'm just so ready to do that. Cause people going to doubt, people going to hate, but I just, I just, I just, Bout out all the noise and just do what I do. So um, I'm so ready to just to get on the field with the guys and just have a good time because I know this is going to be a good one. Perfect. Thanks, man. Thank y'all. Appreciate it.